Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Eunice if you're new here. Today we are going to be DIYing some vintage looking plated lampshades and you may be wondering why the heck am I making lampshades because can't I just buy them? Well, so when I was designing for our bedroom makeover, I found the CB2 lamp and I fell in love with it. I love how it's got these pink pleats with a white body and just has a really nice balance of vintage and modern. And I also think it's just so cute and adds a lot of personality. So ever since finding them, I've been trying to recreate that lamp. I found the perfect lamp bodies for it. So I got these off marketplace from a girl who had plastered over them. I think it just looks so nice and modern. But I have been very unlucky with finding pleated lampshades. Every time I find the perfect one on Marketplace, there's only one. They never have a pair. And I also haven't been able to find any at thrift stores as well. I found several online and on Etsy, but they're quite expensive and over my budget. So today we are going to be ending in this search and just DIYing them ourselves. So if you're curious to learn how you can create a vintage looking pleated lamp, shade then keep watching you're gonna need a lampshade I got two I also got these off marketplace and I got two so I can have each one by our bed and this shape right here I think it's called the Empire shape it's like a, like a very cone like shape is what's gonna make this lampshade look very vintage I have been seeing this kind of shape in a lot of catalogs lately and I just I'm in love with it I love that it's coming back so we are basically going to be creating the pleated layer and gluing it on top of this lampshade this is gonna help us with the structure we're also gonna need some fabric glue fabric stiffener and fabric scissors. We're gonna need our fabric, of course. I got this from the utility fabric section at Joann's and I just asked for two yards because I wasn't sure exactly how much fabric I was gonna need. I went with this one because it's very thick and durable. It's got this cross stitching that kind of makes it look very linen-like and I thought the thick material would just make the lampshade look more luxurious. And lastly, we are going to need a hot glue gun. I already went ahead and cut out the amount of fabric I'm going to need for one lampshade. So this is the longest side of the two yards, which is... Then I measured the length of the lampshade that I'm working with. So this is 11 inches long and I just added two more inches on top of that because I want the pleats to hide the edges of the lampshade. And then I added an additional inch so that I can glue the edges down and make it look seamless. We're going to flip it over so that it's on the back side. So I'm basically going to glue down half an inch on this edge and also half an inch on this edge so that the front of the fabric looks very clean and doesn't have frayed edges. So I just finished gluing down both edges and now the other side just looks super clean. Okay, now we are going to stiffen up our fabric. So I went ahead and added some covering on the floor because it's going to get pretty wet. Now I'm just going to lay the fabric down. And I have the front side facing up. So now that the fabric is semi-dry, I didn't dry it all the way, it's still wet so we're going to start creating the pleat so that it stiffens and dries in the pleated shape. We're going to go with 1 inch pleats, so I'm going to go ahead and start folding it. And once you have that first pleat, it's going to be easy to just continue on and you're basically creating an accordion.
So now that I've reached the end, I'm going to get some books to add some support. Finish it up. We're going to put another book on the other side to keep the shape. I'm going to need a thicker book here. I'm going to go in and sharpen the folds so that they're more crisp. And the stiffener is still fully not dry. It's definitely getting on my hands. But this is good because it's going to dry in the shape and make it easier for us to keep our pleats. I'm also going to do it on the other side. And we're going to let that dry. So we are going to let that dry overnight. I made some pleated fabric yesterday for the other lamp and this is what it looks like after it's dried overnight. As you can see, it's pleated and the fabric stiffener has dried out so it's contained its shape. And now we're just going to wrap it around our lampshade. I attached the lampshade onto the lamp body, but I didn't screw it all the way just so that we can easily rotate it around. I am ah, I'm loving this already. I'm going to go ahead and add some hot glue on the one edge. Now we're going to glue the pleated fabric onto the shade so that the pleats are spaced out evenly and that they will hang on here. I'm going to add some hot glue to one of the corners of the pleats and just stick that on. And now that we have glued this one on, I'm going to glue the other side. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, so this is like the other middle. Now that we have the opposite sides anchored, it's gonna help us space the pleats evenly. So you get the point, I'm just gluing on each pleat by starting with halves, going another half, and then going further halves in. Now we're going to glue down the bottom edges so that it also helps contain the shape. Oh my gosh guys, I am so happy with this pleated lampshade. I just can't believe that we did this. <laughs> I would totally DIY this again over buying it for $50 to $100 online. And making this was really easy. I just needed the right materials and once I had it, it was very straightforward. And having a lampshade to wrap the fabric over made it really easy to help contain the structure. So I highly recommend this DIY if you're also looking for pleated lampshades. I love how you can get really creative with the fabric and the shape of the lampshade as well. Let me know below what you thought about this video and don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to see more DIY and home decor videos from me. And when you do, make sure you hit the little bell next to it as well so you're notified when I upload future videos. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well to keep up with my project updates. I love connecting with you guys over there and as always thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one